Hey guys, how you going? My name's Robbo and I've got a bit of a hot take. Working in a kitchen is over glamorized. I know, I know, that's a pretty tough truth to accept. I know that's one I've had to accept. Hollywood has really over glamorized the kitchen and hospitality industry. People might think that shows like The Bear are reflective of the reality of working in a kitchen or working as waitstaff or in hospitality. People may watch The Bear and think, oh, maybe I want to work in the culinary industry. Or they watch Donut Daddy on TikTok and think, yep, that's the job for me. To be fair, Jeremy Allen White has now become the poster child for making cooking and being a chef look really attractive, but there is a place on the internet that shows what the world of the bear is really like. And that place, of course, is on Reddit. The subreddit in question is called Kitchen Confidential. It's a place where people working in both the kitchen and in hospitality can come together to share their tales of working in that industry. Using this subreddit, we can finally answer the age old question of, is working in the kitchen a movie? Or is it more like a documentary that you watch at 3 a.m.? Let's look at our first story. Are we all mentally ill? Yes. Whenever I'm outside the kitchen, I'm reserved, socially awkward, introverted. As soon as the first rush comes in though, I'm swearing at the screen when 10 tickets come in at once, slamming microwaves, ninja throwing utensils around, power walking to and from the walk-in fridge when nothing's been defrosted. I've only been in a kitchen just under a year. Do I need help? Damn dude, I've been there. It's kind of funny to think of working in a kitchen as being the trigger for like split personalities. Like my name's Dale, hi, nice to meet you. But as soon as I put on that apron, Eduardo takes over. <laughs> if you enter the industry without mental illnesses, one or more will be provided to you. So I see your mental health has kind of been suffering recently. Is this because of your lack of connection to your family at a young age? Nah bro, someone's just left grease on their plate and now it's dried up. So I have to wash it like four different times just to get the stain off. Dude, that makes me so mad. I, could I do believe that this is a possibility because I know working in a kitchen can sometimes get very, very intense. But this could also just as well be an extra from the bear. Who knows? Who knows? Overcooked in kitchens. My girlfriend and her sister are playing Overcooked and their comments while playing have me howling because of the accuracy. Neither have set foot in a professional kitchen. Okay, this is going to be good. All right, let's act it out. Where are the plates, you c Give me them. <laughs> Holy shit. Put it down, you tit. I need a plate. We need someone washing dishes. Oh yeah, we can throw things. Did you just call me Gollum? No, I said it's going. I need a plate. Where the fuck did my taco go? Have you got the rice on, girl? What is going on? I need a plate. Oh shit, I didn't chop it. Oh no, I'm on fire. Yes, I'm doing it. I'm waiting for it to fucking cook. No, you need to add the honeycomb to that one. It's the third order in. No, the other one. That's an egg. We haven't done very well, have we? No, wait. Yes, we have. <laughs> Bravo. That is... That is a great interaction. <laughs> I'd like to think that the first part is just them bickering in the calm before the storm. Then the orders begin to ramp up and the intensity starts to really flare and they start flying insults at each other. And finally at the end, they just don't even know if they've done a good job. A true mark of kitchen staff. <laughs> Overall, I'd say this was very entertaining. I reckon Netflix would give this three seasons minimum. Help? Okay, this should be good. I've been working at an Italian restaurant for the last six years, slowly working my way up from the dish pit all the way to being the unofficial kitchen manager. Nice job. While people with more kitchen experience get put into actual positions of management, long story short, we got new owners about two years ago and they have been pushing more and more to get more money out of everything while neglecting the kitchen itself and the employees working in it. They plan on opening a second location on the end of my town in the next six-ish months. That I will be running, but the current kitchen manager is a drunk that the head chef blatantly denies as being a drunk. Oh my God. Going as far as to say that it's a condition that when he's under stress manifests as intoxication. Oh my God. I'm fed up. I've bled, sweat, and cried for this place. I bust my ass every single day while everyone around me fucks off and makes my job harder. How do you go on? Hey, I'm sorry you had to go through that thick Jesus 98. It's a hard pill to swallow, I guess, in any job. You work your hardest to provide everything you can to better your employer or your business, but there will always be just someone who is better. That head chef has got game, bro. He's thinking 12 moves ahead while you're out here just putting all this work in for nothing. He gets to drink at work and make everyone else do his work for him. If the people working under him call him out, he just denies everything, denies it all. And if the people working above him call him out, he just says it's a medical condition. 
That sounds like checkmate, baby. Thick Jesus 98 if you're watching this, I think your next step should be just start drinking with him, you know? It seems like he's got the strats. It's time you join him, brother. <laughs> Told a guy at my table to shut the hell up. Server story. Whoa, yes, I am ready for this one. It was a five top. Two couples and one solo dude. Oh, okay, you know this guy's experience. He's using all the lingo. Uh, I get that. Yeah, I, I, I get that. Sure. All in all, great group. Except for one of the husbands. This guy thought he was the comedian of the bunch. He thought he was so fucking funny, laughing harder and harder at every heckle he spat out of his stupid mouth. Harrison, you dick. Oh my God, the animosity. Oh, I love it so far. Anyway, I work at a steakhouse. So I was doing my little spiel on all of our different proteins, dry aging, wagyu. Man, you knock this out of the park. You know how to do your job. Good shit, man. All that basic stuff. And this guy keeps cutting me off. I can tell the rest of the group is starting to get embarrassed, but I placate and soldier on. Final straw was him blurting out, oh, talk dirty to me, when I was telling them about our 45 day dry age ribeye. In between his wife cringing and his buddy nudging him to shut the fuck up, I couldn't help myself anymore and added my own little anecdote to this whole shit show. I said, Harrison, you remind me a lot of my little brother when he was born. It took him a long time to start talking, like a really long time. I wanted him to talk so bad. That's all I wanted. And when that day finally came and he finally started talking, he wouldn't shut the hell up. Oh, he got him. At first I thought I'd gone too far. I mean, I'm not a confrontational guy and I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings, but I was abruptly vindicated by the reactions of everyone else in the group. His wife started cackling loudly. His buddies exploded into, holy shit, that's Harrison in a fucking nutshell. I can't believe it only took this guy like two minutes to work you out like that. We had a good time. Guys, I have to come clean about something. My real name is Harrison. This guy's me, dude. I was just trying to be funny, dude. I was just trying to be funny. Just have some fun with my friends and my wife. Of course I wanted. I just wanted to make some funny jokes. And this guy just told me that. And I'm like, damn, dude, you got me, dog. You got me. You got me. <laughs> nah, I'm only playing. But this is a pretty positive story. I'm not going to lie. I was expecting it to be a lot more negative than what it ended up being. So I'm very happy about that. I thought after reading that comeback that he had for Harrison, I thought the next line was going to be like, yeah, yeah, so I've been in a hospital since then. Turns out Harrison's actually got hands. <laughs> Manager blocking common break area. Uh-oh, uh-oh. So my kitchen has implemented a new rule where we can no longer take our 10 minute breaks from the times of 11 to two and four to eight. To make sure that we follow this, they arm the alarm and block off the back door to the area we commonly use as a break area. Is this legal in Colorado? My Googling hasn't been much help. Bruh, that's crazy. That's crazy. Hey, no wonder you're not getting raises in that place. Hey boss, uh, I just wanted to come in today and just say that I think the restaurant's been doing really well recently. And I feel like I've been key to this. So I feel I deserve to be compensated for my impact. Ah, so you're looking for a raise, eh? Yes, exactly. Oh yes, of course, I completely agree with you. I think you've been really vital to this business and we couldn't have the success we have without you. Unfortunately, I'm giving that money to Steve. Steve? Yeah, who's Steve? Oh, he's the new bouncer for the back door. What? So that raise isn't gonna happen, okay? All right, bye-bye. Remember, no pissing until 3 p.m. Don't fu- oh, okay. All right, I need to use a voice on this one. Don't fucking talk to me when I'm at the grill. Yeah, man, the Spice Girls are hot, sure. What? You need a Lambo? Whatever, dude. I got like six burgers on, the fry is beeping, and I'm standing under a giant fucking fan. I can't hear shit. Don't fucking talk to me when I'm on the grill. Dude, this guy is sick. What the hell? Justin Bieber? Nah, no thanks. Zendaya? Yeah, no thanks. This guy is the real VIP. Dude, I can see him just being like posted up in the club in the VIP section, just like with a grill right next to him. <laughs> Girls are gonna come up to him like, hey, wow, that grill's really cool. Uh, uh, do you have Instagram? Nah, move out the way quickly, yeah? I've got five Big Macs on the grill, yeah? Now move, step off. If you're watching this video and you know a guy like this, stay close to him because this level of focus is rare. That level of focus is gonna take you right to the very top, best believe. Got another kitchen job. Started at a new coffee cafe in my town. Have loved every single shift. 
except one. I work weekends, which is great for me. My kitchen manager does not. She filled in last Sunday and we got to work together. Total authoritarian leadership style. I'm not receptive to that. I let her know that I do not need to be micromanaged. And the next day she had me come in for a meeting with the owner where she ambushed me. The owner took my side and now the kitchen manager is trying to get me fired, even though they consistently have trouble finding people that will show up for their shifts. SMH, why must this industry suck so hard? I feel you, man. I feel you. I will say though that this kitchen manager definitely hoards memorabilia of Ronald Reagan, for sure. She probably watched a documentary on like the war on drugs in the 80s and saw Ronald Reagan giving all these speeches and was like, yes, that is who I must be like. I need to be like Reagan to keep all these lackeys in line. I'm really sorry that you had to go through that. Uh, it seems like the kitchen manager won't be there for long anyway. So at least she can spend more time with the 10 cats that she has at home. <laughs> Does this beer basset fish look burnt to you? Oh my God, that looks disgusting. Ugh. Because it's not. Chef experimented with charcoal in the batter. I'm not a fan of the suggestive appearance, you think? Jesus, of the final product. Tastes just fine though. I thought it would taste gritty, but nope. Dude, that is the biggest cope I've ever heard. Not just from this guy, but from the chef. The chef probably took it out of the thing and saw it was burnt and was like, ah... Uh, no, 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 I, I plan to do this. Uh, I'm experimenting with charcoal, yeah? See, see, it's on you. If you don't like it, that's on you. But I mean, the guy said it tastes fine, so now it only really looks like shit. How do I respond to this? I got off early because I was up early helping prep everything. And he said, I'd have tomorrow off. It was the plan. And I double checked with him and this is what he texted me after. I don't even know what to say back. It's my boss. All right, let's see this combo. Okay, I'll probably pass on tomorrow, but if y'all need anything, I can bring it down though. We reopen Tuesday. Correct. You should have asked me how my night went. Sold out of pork, shrimp, catfish, hush puppies, almost grits, all the tomatoes you cut, hand cutting lettuce to order. Enjoy your day off. Oh my God. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this really is like the equivalent of like a nice guy's post, but in the kitchen environment, the boss is like, damn dude, all employees are the same. You care about what they want and then they don't even care about what you want. This is bullshit. <laughs> I bet he wanted to write bitch at the end so badly. <laughs> I don't really know how to respond to this dude. I mean, I think the best thing to do is just bid farewell to that place, if you know what I mean. After dinner service tonight. Well, very ominous title. Let's see what's going on. After our dinner pop died off, tonight's chef made us all put our tools down and paused the line for about 10 minutes so we could all go get ice cream from the ice cream truck that posted up in our parking lot today. Paid for everything on the company dime. Then let us all sit down and enjoy our respective scoops before closing up. I've had head chefs scream at me, insult me, threaten me, throw plates or food at me, but free ice cream break is a fucking first. Love your people and they will be happy to move mountains for you. Thanks for coming in today, chefs. Wow, that's a great story. I'm very happy that you got to experience that. That's fantastic. Looking at these stories today, I think working in a kitchen, it's not like the bear and it's not like a nightmare either. It can be good and it can be bad. Also like every other job on the planet. The only difference is that you've got a special place online that you can share all the stories for all of us to enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see me make more videos like this, please leave a like down below. And if you haven't already, subscribe if you're new. And as always, I've been Robbo and I'll see you next time.